Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2 and just as we did last time we're gonna be looking at the workshop because you know the workshop has like pretty much all of the things we haven't done yet. World Cup 2018 is this gonna be an accurate rendition of the World Cup? Oh my god that is that is not how the World Cup worked. Did he replace Earth with a soccer ball? What what is, is this? No, no, Earth Earth is orbiting a soccer ball. Why though? What why? What what is why? Why? Okay, we're 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 getting out of here. What else do we have? Well, let's look for something uh subscribers now recently added. High quality stuff. Um Pumpkins orbiting human-sized black hole. <laughs> well, <laughs> of course, like a true intellectual, we have pumpkins orbiting a human-sized black hole. Wow. I mean, oh my god, why is it speeding up? What the heck? What's going on? Why is it gaining speed? It shouldn't be gaining speed like this. Why are the physics broken? Why is it gaining? Look at look at the speed. What on earth? What's going on? Whoa! Oh, that's that's wacky. That's wacky. The game is just the the physics are not holding up. The physics are not holding up. Okay, it is it is not happy with the simulation. Oh my god! Calm down. Calm down. Oh boy. Okay, um Star Cluster. What do we have here? Oh. Oh nice. Are they all orbiting the black hole nicely? Oh they are. I've destroyed things in this game before, but never destroyed a star cluster before. That sounds exciting. Oh oh wait. Okay, no, that's that's not off balance. All we have to do is slightly off balance this entire system, and it's going to be beautiful. Okay, okay, I've got this. Do 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 times ten. Oh, oh, this bad boy. Oh god, they're all getting close to each other now. Are they going to collide? Oh, those two got really close. Oh, these stars are really, really getting risky now. They're flying around. Is that gonna hit that? Is that gonna hit that? No. Oh! Oh my god. These... These stars are getting very close together. They're just moving so fast they don't actually hit each other. But at some point, two of them are going to hit each other. And it's going to do a supernova. And it's gonna be fan- Oh! This red giant sun is very angry about the situation. It looks like it's time to increase the mass further. Double, double, double. Tch. Yay! <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, God, it's being ripped apart. What well, One of the stars has been ripped apart horribly. What about the other ones? Well, they're not quite being ripped apart, but they're, they're getting pretty close. Ooh. Ooh, this one's trapped. This one is trapped by the uh, gravity of the black hole. Very, very close. Very, very fast as well. Moving... How fast is this? This is definitely not slow. Moving a quarter of light speed. Wow. That is, uh... That's certainly something. It's making a star beautiful. Fantastic. It looks like we're just kind of making a mess now, ripping apart these stars. But, uh, we're gonna just, you know, why don't we speed up the black hole? Let's make it, We. it's running away now. Wow, that, that star is really, how fast do we have to make the black hole go before, oh, it, it has escaped. Wow, look at over here. There is quite a bit of damage in this area, I would say. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, but that, that wasn't enough. That was a little bit disappointing. I think what we have to do is we have to do a supernova on one of them. 
and see how it affects the rest. Like, what happens if there's a supernova in the middle of a star cluster? I mean, these are good questions. You know, these are questions you ask yourself every night when you're trying to sleep. You know, after you're done feeling bad about that one embarrassing thing you did 10 years ago. Okay, here we go, guys. This is it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna explode it in three, two, one. Well, we're turning it down. We are turning it down to very, very slow. Days per second. Hours per second. <clears throat> Minutes per second. Seconds per second. Milliseconds per second. Because we want to capture this. Boom! Oh, wow. We actually got the perfect moment right there. We can see the uh, supernova expanding outwards. Oh, wow. That's actually a really good shot. Like, right when it started. Look at that. Kind of looks like a wedge of cheese. Completely unrelated, by the way. Okay, it's kind of lagging. My computer is making a lot of noise, so let's scroll out a bit. It, wow. Wow, you're really getting my graphics card running. Okay, we're gonna speed it up a bit more. Oh, there comes the color, jeez. Wow, that got really bright really fast. And now the actual mass, I mean the photons are escaping, but the mass is about to escape. All of that gas being shot out. Okay, so the light has reached another star by now. The actual supernova has not, but what happens when the supernova hits another star? What's gonna happen? The star... is it not being affected at all? Oh, I thought there'd at least be some force ripping the star apart. I mean, it's a supernova. Really? The stars just don't care? That's kind of wacky, I'll be honest. I, <coughs> I expected a bit more to happen. Kind of looks cool, though. Huh. It looks like it threw their orbits off a little bit. It looks like it moved them a little bit, but other than that, let's try blowing up another one. And see if it has any clear effect. So we can see these are all kind of, oh, it definitely, it de oh, oh, it really messed up their orbits. Did you see that? Oh, wow, two more. Oh, God, it caused another supernova. Oh, it's a chain reaction now. The stars are just, their orbits are being thrown off, which is causing, causing them to get closer to each other now. Oh, geez. Now, that's pretty intense. I, I did not expect it to cause another supernova. These two are getting really close together, and this one has got to be exerting a little bit of force on the other one. I mean, the stars have got to have some effect, so let's speed things up a bit and see if there's any really clear effect. I guess there isn't much going faster at this point. I mean, we can blow up another one to see the effect. If we line this up right, there we go. When these are all three in parallel, if we blow this one up, should push that one in a little bit. Yikes. Look at the amount. There, there are a lot of supernovas going on. Let's just do more. Why not? Boom. Boom. Supernova the black hole. <laughs> That's not how that works, but we're going to try it anyways. Where's the black hole at? It's hard to see. It's hard to find a black hole. Oh, there it is. Nope. No, it's not. Oh, wow. Wow, that was actually a star before, and that just got absolutely destroyed by the forces and the heat. Where is the black hole? I can't find it. It's in the center of... Oh, here it is. Boom. What happened? Did it just delete the black hole? Are there little black hole pieces going all over the place? Huh. That was odd. That was interesting. Okay. Um, very, very neat. What else do we have? Black hole in a planet in a planet. Of course, of course. Black hole in a planet in a planet. 
Well, um, black hole, one solar mass. Okay. Okay, and that's, that is inside of a planet, which is inside of a planet. Now, keep in mind, there is a planet inside of the planet, and there is a black hole inside of that. Let's go to super slow-mo. I feel like the black hole is just going to eat all of it. Oh. Maybe not? What? What is going on? Why is nothing happening? Simulation can't run any faster with current settings. What? Nothing's heating up, nothing- nothing's expl- Nothing's getting angry, is it because they're all at the same exact spot? Really? Because there's no distance, does it break the gravity formula they're using? If I move this at all. At all. Oh my god! That's it! No way! Wait, maybe not? Yeah. Yeah, that broke literally everything. Oh, that's neat. That's very neat. Oh, these just got shot out very fast. How fast is Pluto moving? Oh, oh, of course. It's moving 58 light speeds, of course. What happens if something is moving at 58 light speeds and like it hits Earth? Pluto at 58 times the speed of light hitting Earth. It's gonna be great. It's going to be fantastic. I don't I don't see anything possibly going wrong with this. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? This is going to be pretty intense. Okay. Pluto, 58 times the speed of light versus Earth, round 1, fight. Okay. Okay. Okay, nothing's really moving. Oh, oh, it's just lag. Okay, let's see what happens. It's gonna hit. Oh! The word Earth go! Earth! Earth, stop it! Stop running away! All the speed was transferred to Earth. Wait, is Earth fine? What? It didn't affect Earth. It didn't affect Earth. It just transferred the speed across. What is up with this? What is up with this simulation? What the heck? Well, that made no sense whatsoever. Hmm. 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 Well, I, I think we have learned. I don't know what, but, you know, we've learned something. Thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time in Universe Sandbox 2. Peace out, I've got a website to work on, spookvooper.com, discord.gg slash spookvooper, join the community, join the subreddit, uh, r slash spike viper, we're about to hit 500 subs, it's great. See you all, bye, peace.